Hello Cancer and welcome to this week's reading, the week being the 27th of March to the 2nd of April. This is for the Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, it is for the collective for this sign, so please do, you know, take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. And I hope that you have a good week. So let's see what we have for the cards Four of Wands, Five of Swords. What do I have this week for Cancer, please? One more card. One more card. One more card for Cancer. Oop. Okay. We have the Two of Swords. We've got the bonus card of the Ace of Pentacles with the King of Cups. All right. There's this feeling that there is this stability that you have and you know that you're grateful for it. Um, but there's also some worries that's coming out of that too. I feel like there may be some issues if you're in a partnership with your partner and that's around finances, a lot of it. Um, you're feeling secure, but maybe one of you or your partner or maybe it's the other way around. Is feeling insecure and I think it's because of this current financial climate. Um, you're feeling like there are decisions to be made um, and decisions that you don't actually want to enact on or move forward with because it's kind of that last resort um, but these cards are showing that uh, you need to have faith because there are new um, opportunities that may be coming through or a different solutions coming through that will help you so you don't actually have to feel like you're defeated or you have have to give up too much to be able to um, survive and that includes security so you take great um, care in knowing that you have that security you have that base you're feeling like um, everything's set up in a way that you want to move forward but you also feel like there are things outside of your control that are forcing your hand um, and this may be causing some conflict in relationship um, that you have and if you're not in a relationship and you are single um, potentially it might be you having a roommate or something like that um, there could be that conflict from that perspective if you're living alone it could be your own inner conflict as well so take what um, resonates from that perspective but I feel like a lot of it has to do with um, being grateful for what you have, enjoying the life that you have, but knowing that your hand's being forced to make decisions or changes, not necessarily what you want to make, but definitely in a way that um, will disrupt or change what you are uh, used to, what you're grateful for, what you have, um, what you like. And as I said there, I think that there are opportunities that are beginning to be presented to you that may give you kind of like a reprieve or, or some kind of different um, avenue that you can go down so you can keep that, um, that stability that you have and that you want to keep embracing. I just want to use the Blooming Cat Tarot here. I do want to show you this card because we are under the Aries sign. If you're reading this as your sun or moon, you may be an Aries sun sign, but um, we are within the Aries zodiac sign, which is the first zodiac sign of the astrological zodiac year. So um, I'll let you take all that in. Aries are a unique sign. They're very driven people. So you might find that during this Aries sign um, to mid third week of April that um, you may feel like you're picking up some drive and energy and getting results. So we've got the Four of Cups. So again, the Four. We have the Emperor. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, definitely some change that's going to be coming through um, a Knight of Pentacles as well. And you can see a Knight of Pentacles is reaffirming that. So definitely changes are coming through for you. It is financially based. That's the message that I'm getting. Um, 
It's about you being able to not dwell deep down into the negative so much. I know that you can't help but have those feelings, especially if it's disrupting what you're used to or taking off the equilibrium. Um, but know that you can stand in your own um, decision making. You don't have to feel like your hands are forced and it's out of your control. You always have control and will. Um, it's just about discovering what that um option is that you'll go with that will keep you in the place that you want to be in so have faith that um, there will be an opportunity that may be coming through that you hadn't thought of um, and um, let your mind expand and open to those possibilities so you can keep what it is that you want going okay now let's see what message we have from the sort of light oracle card for you for this week's reading and see what you need to know directly. What do we have this week for Cancer? What do we have this week for Cancer? What do we have this week for Cancer? Come on. Give me a card. Take this one. Your prayers are being answered. What a beautiful card. I mean, when the reading comes across in this way for the week ahead where you may begin the feels of being lack or having your hands forced, this card's showing that your prayers will be answered. It's amazing. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. Okay, so you're definitely being asked to keep an open mind. Um, and as I said, there may be an option that will come through you hadn't thought of or someone would help reach out a hand to you um, as well um, to help give you that answer that you need to be able to keep, um, you know, thriving, being positive and keep that feeling of stability that you may crave. Um, but it's also saying you know, if it's coming in a way or giving you a way that you don't expect, be open to that. Be open to receiving at all times. Okay, so self-love. Let me see. Let's see what we have for your self-love. So your self-care. Well, if it comes out of self-love, you must need to make sure that you embrace your self-love, your self-care for yourself. Okay, when we have love, that's a real base for everything in life. When we do things for ourselves for love, when we do things for others from a place of love, the universe is, it's, you know, spirit guides, angels, whoever you reach out to, they're aware of this. And love forms such um, a base for being able to attract and manifest and receive. So make sure you love yourself as well, who you are as a person. Be still. Okay, you're being asked to be still. So be in the moment. Continue that place of gratitude. Um, be still in meditation. Okay. Use affirmations. If you do tapping, use tapping. Wherever you find that there may be fear or worry or concern or anything like that, be still and meditate on it, you know. Um, Visualise what it is that you want. Okay. Visualize what it is that you want and meditate on that and have faith. Be strong, okay? Let's see where you need to focus your chakra, which chakra you need to focus on for this week, Cancer. As you can see too, I have my crystals laid out covering each of the chakras in our body along with um, my pendulum, which is also chakra based with the green avatarine at the top. So we have our crown, which is clear quartz. We have our third eye, which is amethyst. We have our throat, which is sodalite. Our heart, which is green avatarine. We have our um, solar plexus, which is citrine. Our um, sacral, which is carnelian. Our base, which is red jasper. And then we have our grounding um, earth energy, which is a smoky quartz. So it'll be interesting to see what gets thrown up here for your chakra. Strength, can't be clearer than that, can you? So looking at your root chakra, which is strength, which you, they're saying is the uh, smoky quartz here. 
um, which is your grounding earth anyway, not necessarily your root, but I feel like you need to ground yourself. Being still is a message in that, so make sure that you ground yourself. If you can, get it out on the grass, get out in nature and get some grounding as well. Just sit there and be and just open your mind up. Um, listen for the nature. So strength comes from your connection to the root of your being. Um, root chakra um, is also about stimulating, grounding, um, you know, rectifying unjust uh, situations, calming your emotions. Um, you know, it's about protecting yourself, release of stress, relief of fear. So do um, have... Um, take this message on board because it's been quite clear and all these cards are being shown to you okay so if you have a question you need an answer to ask yourself that question in a way that's direct only one question i'm going to do my answer cards now um if you don't have a question yet please press pause and then play again when you're ready for the answer so here we go what answer does cancer need to hear? And remember, this is for the collective. No. You will have to let go of what you desire. It will not happen now, so stop overthinking things and just let things happen naturally. It is time for you to clear your head and all of your thoughts. Tomorrow's a new day, so treat it as a fresh start. Do not overthink the outcome of your situation as it is not helping you and will not work in your favour. I'm not sure how that will resonate with you, Cancer, depending on the question that you have. Um, but the answer that's being shown from the universe, and remember this is for the collective, is no. Okay. So I'll just pull some cards, see what cards come up for you. Okay. Femme, hair, male. This may be your partner um, or someone who will come to you that will help have a solution to any issues that you may be having. Gains, you'll see financial gains. Just hang in there. Spiritual, tend to your spiritual side, going to meditation, going to grounding. Marriage, so obviously it's decisions a week, um, week or weeks ahead where it will enable someone else or a partnership to come into decision making and solutions. It's not all on yourself. And then we have happiness. So at the end of the day, always choose happiness um, and believe that regardless of the situation you may be thrown into, if it is causing um, self chaos or anything like that, some self worry, some self fear, that you choose your own happiness. And you know, the universe gives us these. Um, sectors in our life where it throws us curveballs but it's to see how we react it sees how if we're open to change if it sees if we're willing to follow paths so always choose happiness okay cancer thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed this week's reading um and i hope to see you in the next one please like and subscribe for more thanks bye